It's one of life's richest experiences when the fateful meeting of two individuals leads them together along a common path. It is indeed a great surprise when a chance relationship grows into a permanent bond of love. Sydney, you look beautiful tonight, and Ryan, so lucky to have met you. When I'm around y'all, I can tell how much you two love each other, and you two are gonna have a long and happy marriage, and when the time is right, make a perfect little family. I will forever be thankful for our friendship. Within the past year, we have made so many memories and spent countless hours on FaceTime. I am so grateful for the nights we have laughed and we have cried and the nights I've held your hair back. Thank you for always telling me what I need to hear, but always supporting every decision I make. He's always been my buddy and he's always been a protector. Like the time he and his friend Glenn were hitting boys with their toy sand shovels because they were trying to talk to me and Brandy at the Lazy River at the beach. We were so embarrassed. Or even in high school, Ryan knew if he was ever in trouble, he'd call me first and vice versa. We just had always had each other's backs that way. We've come together on this glorious evening to celebrate the marriage of Sydney and Ryan. It's one of those meetings, that kind of love, that bring us together today. Who gives this woman to be married to this man? I do. Sydney, I love you. Sydney, I love you. You are my best friend. You are my best friend. Today I give myself to you in marriage. Today I give myself to you in marriage. I promise to encourage and inspire you. I promise to encourage and inspire you. To laugh with you in times of joy. To laugh with you in times of joy. I promise to love you in the good times and in the bad. I promise to love you in the good times and bad. When life seems easy. When life seems easy. And when it seems hard. And when it seems hard. When our love is simple. When our love is simple. And when it requires effort. And when it requires effort. I promise to cherish you. I promise to cherish you. To always hold you in highest regard. Always hold you in highest regard. These things I give you today. These things I give you today. In all the days of our life. In all the days of our life. In all the days of our life. <laughs> by the authority that's vested in me as a minister of the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, and according to the laws of the state of West Virginia, I now pronounce you are husband and wife. Ryan, you may kiss the bride. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I had the honor and privilege of presenting Ryan and Sydney for the very first time as husband and wife, Mr. and Mrs. Small.
Sydney on their beautiful wedding, and I'm extremely happy for both of them. Thank you both for letting me be a part of your special day. I'm so happy for you all and thankful to call you guys my best friends. I love you guys. Ryan is a funny, hardworking, and most importantly, has a really big heart. I've personally witnessed those qualities in him and many more. He's such a good friend to me, I'm actually going to stay for his entire wedding. These two, they're good for each other. Sydney, it seems like just yesterday that I got you ready for your senior prom, and today I helped you get ready for your wedding day. And that little boy I used to play matchbox cars with isn't such a little boy anymore. He's a married man now, but I love him just the same, if not more. My brother, he's a hard worker, he's a go-getter, and he's a provider. He goes from daylight to dark most days, so I know Sydney, you're in good hands. Another